better from the front seat of this car It might smell like smoke, the windows broke But this whole thing is ours Like a rolling home away from home Where the country is our yard It don't matter where we go, yeah Cause we're fine right where we are When you were in kindergarten, what was your ultimate dream in life? Most of the kids that age that I know want to be a rock star or a world traveler or the president of the United States. And I'm sure most of you had equally grandiose aspirations at that age. Uh, I'll admit, my first big career dream was to be the garbage man because I thought people threw away a lot of good stuff. <laughs> However, once I discovered music, that hope quickly faded away to make room for my new dream of playing my own music to stadiums of devoted fans. Now, try to remember how your dreams changed as you grew up. Maybe once you got to middle school, it seemed stupid to say you wanted to be an astronaut, so you stopped saying it out loud and eventually stopped thinking about it at all. I know for me, school took top priority, so I put everything I had into my classes and eventually dual enrolled once I reached high school. I graduated on the dean's list with my associate's degree a few weeks before graduating high school in the top 5% of my class after a lifetime of straight A's. So what did I do next? It might surprise you. I followed my dream. I could have gone on to college and done what everyone expected, but I decided that my dream of making music was more important than other people's ideas of what I should do with my life. I want to share another song with you guys that I wrote that I think relates really well with the message I want to deliver to you today. Um, the idea of it is that, you know, to whoever I'm singing to, I love you, and I would love for you to be on this journey with me, but if you're not with me on this, I'm going to do it by myself. Um, this one's called Come Along. Life's a journey like an open road. It'll take you where you want to go I tend to travel on the one less known You might have seen me on the one man show So take me as I am Come with me if you can We can do what we want to I've got a special place for you You know, when people started asking me about my plans for college and I told them I wasn't going, I can't even tell you how many times I heard, you're going to regret that someday, or what a waste of your intelligence, or couldn't you just do both? 
Why is it that everyone felt I was simply destined to go to college? Most of them didn't seem concerned because they thought I wasn't good enough at music. They were just alarmed that I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. Now, I truly believe and understand that being educated is valuable, and I know there are people in this world who are passionate about chemistry or physics or teaching or a million other things that require a degree, but there are also people who are passionate about something else, and their passion is no less valid just because it doesn't require a degree. There's a quote that I love by Albert Einstein. He said, everyone is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. The tree we're all expected to climb in this case is higher education. Some people are built perfectly to climb that tree, but not everyone is well suited for it. There are people in this world who can pick up any musical instrument available to them and play it with ease like it's an extension of their body, but they can't pass algebra to save their life. There are people who have a natural ability to shed their personal identity and morph themselves into a character for the purpose of telling a story, or people who can pick up a paintbrush and create something that appears so convincingly alive that you would have to reach out and touch it to know that it was only paint on canvas. But they might have a hard time with basic high school classes. Each of these abilities, and countless others, are forms of intelligence that aren't recognized or appreciated the way they should be, so that person might abandon their dream and instead struggle to succeed at something they're not passionate about. People who aren't academically inclined seem to often be discarded as stupid or lazy when the truth is that they're simply intelligent in a different area. In fact, some of the most intelligent and successful people we hear about in pop culture are people who dropped out of college or never went in the first place. If someone asked you to list the most intelligent people you can think of, you might include Bill Gates, Michael Dell, Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, all people who never got a college degree. Less likely to make your list of most intelligent people would be those like Nelson Mandela, Gandhi, or Martin Luther King Jr. And I'd be willing to bet that you wouldn't include people like Michael Jackson, John Mayer, Walt Disney, Johnny Depp, Prince, Lady Gaga, Robin Williams, or John Lennon, but aren't all these people geniuses? There are so many different ways somebody can be smart. And I believe that our dreams are often closely related to whatever form of intelligence comes the most naturally to us. For me, that's music. And for you, it's probably something else. But isn't it a shame if any of us give up on our passion in exchange for following a more widely accepted life path? All I'm really trying to say is that the world is a better place when we all just do our thing. When I think about everything I've gained by pursuing my passion, it makes me want to stop everyone I meet and demand that they drop what they're doing right now if it's not what they love. Realistically, I know that not everyone is lucky enough to be able to do that. But I urge you to find ways to incorporate your passion into your life. Even if you can only work in small bits and pieces here and there, I promise it will change the way you feel to do what you love and what you're good at. And when you feel good and care about what you're doing, you're contributing more to this world. Thank you.